Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between Singolo and his Chofs and Bright and his Skaven. In the booth with me is the the legendary store, the best halfling coach of all time, probably, in uh, in CCL. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and uh, very good with rats as well, right? Who are, who are in action right now. Yeah, mm. if you play them at low TV, then... Uh... Yeah, in CC, so lots of caveats or whatever this is pronounced. Yeah, but uh, he's got a wizard. He's got a Shuran's blood step. He's got a couple of good sackers, and then yeah, pretty nice. Singolos. Yeah, Singolos has got a he's got a big claw pump. You know, amazing claw pump, isn't it? The perfect claw pump, basically. Yeah, we saw him in action in the game versus the the game versus the lizards, I think. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got bare bones. If we can support. call it a game. <laughs> yeah, not really. Ba really bare bone support. Only eleven players. Only one bull. Um, and we've got a we've got a daka. What do you think of a daka with rats? Yeah, I think that's exactly what I would have done. Hmm. There you go. I don't like it as oh, much. So as I wouldn't people. have called it a Dakar. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a withdrawn offense. The Italian gambit. That's how we call it nowadays. <laughs> Fair but, enough. Uh, no point in getting banged on. Yeah. It's just interesting with the, with the Edge 3 Linos, isn't it? That makes it a lot worse. The, I edge, think. the edge 3 Linos make it much worse, but the uh, movement 9 gutters make it pretty good on the other hand, so it's not unlikely that you can squeeze three gutters through and then uh, and then be completely fine. Yeah, fair enough. No uh -huh. longer store zero percent. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Folk for gore is zero percent. What a shitter. <laughs> what's what's Dimmy looking like? Is he is he I know he's won at least one. Yeah. Dimmy's looking like a man who would cage his vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting to see what uh Singolo is uh, gonna do. Is he gonna stay there? Oh no, he's uh He's doing the thing that uh you better don't do. Against the decker. Oh, do you think over pursuing? Yeah. I think I think I would have just waited at the halfway line, got the bull back, and then probably at some point there's gonna be a blitz on one side and then three plus dodges through. It's hard though, isn't it? It's like you wanna generate something in the first half, don't you? Like the the Dakar is is tough to deal with. I don't understand all these people who just call it shit. It's definitely not just shit. Um, no, you know, it's it, tough. But, um, <clears throat> if you stay, oh dear. if you stay at the halfway line, and uh, then either the uh, the Reds have to use the wizard to get through, which would be pretty damn good, mm -hmm. or they uh, do it with three pluses, which gives you quite a good chance to uh, to get the ball yourself. Or they uh, they succeed, which which would be pretty shit. But not everyone is doing the daka in the right way, and often people just just give themselves just these two or three turns they need instead of maybe going a turn earlier. So. Uh, in case of a failure, they st they can still uh, the score. Yeah. So I think I would have would have tried to to bet on that. Yeah, I remember watching one. and It seemed really tight. Like I thought that was a yeah. I did see one. That I thought it was just you know one turn too late. But even if it just saves you a couple of turns of getting banged on, that's that's good, isn't it? It's already done a decent job at the end of the day. Yeah, it's it's two turns with only one hit received. And if it 
if it's like that now, you probably you either wait for uh, or hope for Singolo to uh, to set up in a in a way that you can get through somewhere. And if he doesn't, you just pull a few squares back and then try the next turn. And maybe feed one gutter through. And if you do the three three two or whatever it is, then uh, he has to worry about that one. This is, uh, I mean, the, the thing is, is it's really bad when 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 it's when they're like it's even, right? If they've already defended the the, yeah. the, the team. That's but now look at this. Yeah, yeah, this very is very nice, very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a mistake from Singola, wasn't it? But and like, and like he didn't have to. That's the thing, did it? Like he, he didn't yeah. have to leave that on where. But if he was one nil down or at nil nil now, he would have had to have made something happen probably. Well, especially if it was one nil yeah, down. Not not in something. the first half. And now the Reds can get through, yep. and uh, the Jaws are fucked. <laughs> yep. A little bit. I mean, they still got the bull, haven't they? They do, but it's only one bull. And uh, he's probably gonna, gonna try to squeeze um, the Reds onto the sideline. But uh, if the Reds get through, which is not... Uh, the chance is not bad for that. Especially now that the gutter is. Uh, Ooh. Ooh, I don't like it up here. I would have liked it. No, I would have. Yeah, now control. he can get squeezed onto the sideline, which you don't want. Or break tackle in. I, w I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind the break tackle in here. You know. Yeah, that's not a bad shout. I guess, I, uh, I guess he won't. I guess he'll just claw on the the rat. Yeah, I mean he's got. Claw bomb them, but he didn't get to claw bomb for for three turns now. Yeah, he's so, getting uh, he's getting heavy withdrawal symptoms by now. <laughs> 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 you steal my claw bomb. <laughs> he he's gonna. Uh, it's a bit shit. Like he, the position he's in now. Because it's not gonna be uh, tough, very, as tough to get out as it could be. Yeah, I think he had to not make that hit and, and maybe see the by that guy back at the end of the turn. Gun is pretty great though. Yep. Because he fills the square now. Yep. On the other hand, he's got a Dauntless uh, at hand, so he can. He can chain push someone away, and then run away. He can. Yeah, like that. He can surf his own guy if he wanted. Oh, he gets the power <laughs> as well. Disgusterous. Ah, perfect. Instant full power. Hello, HD. So that Hello, is cookie. probably uh, stallable now. Like that's the good thing with a Dakar. Huh? Like, if the opponent pushes early and. You have to run in at turn six or something. Then your rats with the wizard against chaffs with one bull. We have three turns, and if they push too hard, you got a chance to go two 0 up at the half time and win the game. Yeah. Wow, it's really good when you make three plus dodges as well, isn't it? That's the uh... yeah. That's uh... That's the secret to a good Daka. <laughs> not only make the important roles, but uh, make the not so important roles as well. Yeah, that always fr that never ceases to frustrate me against rats because you know, like obviously you want to hit the gutters and 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 you want to cast the gutters when you hit them. Like it, that's the hard part, isn't it? Like hurting the gutters and and because you can't really play around the gutters that much, right? They can still just two plus away and stuff no matter yeah. what you do, but. But when you like tag up all of the line rats and then they just all fucking oh wow he made the four plus dodge will oh, he go in or not? No, he's gonna go in. He does go yeah. in. Nice. He gets the power. Nice, nice. Oh, just I just uh, realized the gutter is uh, movement eight. Oh wow. What a shit piece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Terrible gutter. Would have laughed if he. Got uh, got cast there, and <laughs> he would have gone f from a shit piece to a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so do you stand up the shit 
move an aid and then just blitz with a dauntless. Yeah. Yeah. Fails the dauntless, gets the pushes. Perfect. That does spoil these uh, two. Go the two line rats way out there, doesn't it? But, but at this one. point, you don't need the uh, the line rats. If you make the dodge with the one gutter, yeah. you're golden. Oh, he's got two heads there as well, so it's still two. Oh, he should have leapt though, shouldn't he? A misplay there. A cheeky little misplay making that dodge. He hasn't got leap, so it wasn't that. It was. It was still focused on this one. No, I mean <laughs> it's it's two plus two plus the dodges, and the leap is three plus. He does. He hasn't got leap. It, it was just that this was still oh, okay. this was still showing. So I was like, why the hell did you do that? But it just wasn't. <laughs> if he had leap, he he still should have dodged. But I suppose if he had leap, then he wouldn't have taken two heads or the other way around. Yeah, I was pretty confused. I was I was pretty confused. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good that you are confused because otherwise. Uh... Oh! <laughs> wow! Wow! He pro. Oh, him that's uh, that's pro for you. Yep. Classic. Classic pro. That's why I don't like pro. pro. Yeah, it just it just came up with the thing. It, was, it wasn't my fault. Okay, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Not my fault. fault of the fault of the shitty game made by shitty developers in a shitty con um, in uh, in France. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, um, since we're doing the right way of uh, reviewing things here, how do you th how do you rate this Dakar? Oh, this is a fantastic bat, a perfect 10 out of 10. I would, I would have dackered in this situation, 100%. Yeah, exactly. He, he even made more damage than uh, than you yeah. received. Yeah, unbelievable. No, he, he, he just same. did the same, but uh, still. Morally, he did more. And uh, that yeah. was a terrible pro result, by the way. Um, I can tell you. Why does this player have pro anyway? I don't know. But that is the ba that is, like that is the downside of pro, isn't it? Like I know it's only one in thirty-six, but like I just hate I just hate taking extra risks like that. Differently, your claw bomber obviously because the payoff is so big, and obviously yeah. the claw bomber you can use the pro to jump up as well, which you would never use. To keep Indeed, oh, very rarely. That's two KOs to one. That's. Uh... Yeah, so much nutrition, so unfair. <laughs> Leaplessly. Wow, now he has outbashed him. Ooh. Yes, exactly, Edev. I wouldn't have had thought of you. So. Exactly, Jim is an amateur. <laughs> Yeah. Way. <laughs> Way. That's mad, though, isn't it? There's two teams of eleven. Like that's pretty. It's pretty dicey because of that. <clears throat> yeah. That makes the uh, the position from Singolo Way got his own player surf even worse. Of, co of course, the, whether, whether Skaven have 11 players or 16, he still really only care about four of them. <laughs> so there is that. But it means he can't foul, and it means that, you know, it is harder for them when they're down to, like, seven players or whatever, isn't it? So. Yeah, that's uh, a very good analysis. Yep. Playing Blood Bowl is harder with fewer people. Yep, thanks. This is, look, this is what you get. <laughs> This is what you get from this challenge channel. Yeah. Amazing content like that. It's hard. I think at this point you we we should uh, remember all the three viewers to leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you won't get this anywhere else, guys. <laughs> um, do you know what I'm surprised he did he didn't do there? I would have pushed him back. Right, I would have hit with the bull, taken the blitz push, with claw pump. And then blitz with claw pump, yeah. Yeah. Do you like that play? So that's yeah. I think uh, it's okay. Okay. So you got we got different states of bangerism there. <laughs> There's uh, the banger that wants to uh, to maximize the chances of attrition, like you want to do here, and there's the banger that just wants to bang. It doesn't 
doesn't think about uh, the other stuff, how to maximize things. He just maximizes hits. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that sounds like something Pain State might have said once, which means it's abject lunacy. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Pain I remember Pain State. Oh, is Pro the, the thing where, where Pro is better than Dodge? Yeah, Pro Could is the be... best kill skill in the game. That, that's what someone said, yeah. So Pro is the best kill skill in the game, which Pro Pain State, yeah, Pain State is, yeah, that's... I remember. Some I remember. Things in I remember from the forum thread where uh, someone argued why pro is better than dodge, oh because, um, yeah, there were some reasons listed, but um, <laughs> I can't remember them. <laughs> were they fucking stupid? <laughs> <laughs> um, that might have been the case. <laughs> Just in your opinion, of course. Who can say if it was right or wrong? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> no, it was uh, it was the Fumble forums, not the Rebel Discord. So, uh, no catalyst. <laughs> well, yeah, then not not that much of a surprise. Fucking hell, it does. Fucking hell. <laughs> because the match is scheduled for Ooh. Ooh, dub schools. He didn't doesn't pro even it. pro. Didn't even pro it. He's only got two rerolls. Do you know what? Like this ball carrier is pretty good. Oh, no, maybe he should have made some safe moves first. What would have yeah. been really been the pro play would have been to make some safe moves first, so you weren't completely caught with your pants down. If the ball was still on the ground, then you could have pro that, couldn't you? 50-50 to save your yeah. reroll. Best case scenario is overtime, isn't it? That was that was a really that 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 could have been a really good use of pro there if only you'd done all of these safe non dice rolling moves first. <laughs> yep, that would. Uh, uh, but he's still uh, not really been making okay, the pro play it. in the real sense of the word. But yeah, that's I, pretty I still would have even I would have even protected with this extra this extra hob to be honest. Yeah, with a with a deep kick against Reds with a wizard. If you don't start dropping a few pieces black it's now, to like by protect against with failure, that, you've just got to pile in, haven't you? Whereas you could have assisted with the other the other chaff, and then this hobble could have been holding here or here. Yeah. Here. Next turn, his team is going to be split, and the turn after, there's going to be a lightning bolt, and the ball's gone. Which is pretty good because no overtime means earlier among us. Yeah, that's a that's a good <laughs> that's a good point. But um, <laughs> yeah, actually, it, this is looking pretty bad for Singol, isn't it? Yeah. Good. I forgot all about the wizard, but yeah, now it's he's got his team split, uh, massively split as well. Uh, yeah, you could have even considered not blitzing, right, and just taking all three of those guys back. Yeah. So, uh, in to to um, <clears throat> bring in the terms Dio used in the One World One Blood Bowl episode, oh, I think yes. it was in that one. The uh, he didn't focus on the stabilization phase, which fucks his whole drive. Yeah, and it's the most and important against rats, right? The stabilization, yeah. like you know, I, I think it's a good term actually. I do, I do, I do. It's one of the dioisms that I like. Um, yeah, you've got to stabilize your drive as soon as possible. It's particular against any kind of agility team, but especially against rats, isn't it? Because they're like they're the just fucking worst. I hate these. I hate these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Planification. Oh, very good, man. <laughs> But I think we can we can say if you fail at the um, oh that's tough especially for the next game. Oh, yeah, if nice. you fuck up in the in the stabilization phase, it has the largest possible negative impact on your uh, on your game equity. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, very good. Even 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 against Bash as well, but particularly. Oh, here we go, Bolton. Particularly against Rats, isn't it? They're just. Oh wow, yeah. this is ballsy, isn't it? Dodge for a Wandy after using the Wizard. Yeah, I don't hate the Wizard because kind of. Uh... It's kind of the most split you get the chop, probably, and yeah. you run out of players. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it's hard. Once you've done the wizard, you committed to to going for the ball. Yeah. I don't know, I wouldn't mind, like a fireball, I wouldn't even mind it that much, because you've pretty much got a high roll, haven't you, with these four tackle guys around the ball? You pretty much got yeah. a roll after you do it. So I, I mean, the chances of Ooh, the wow. chances of uh, getting. <laughs> He's had some crazy dice here, though, hasn't he? Yeah. All the dodges and pickups. But I do think it was the right turn to use the wizard. Not sure about fireball versus versus the uh, lightning bolt, but if you fireball, you don't get the ball down and he has guard around the ball probably not getting anything better than uh, than uh, one dice and the wrestle tackle is out yeah yeah the thing was like um, I just feel like obviously it worked out for him brilliant but do you know what I mean he had to do so much even after getting the bolt worked whereas so the bolt works 83% of the time, and you've got to do a lot of work after it. I think maybe he's having the the fireball work 50% of the time, and there being a, a lot, there's a much higher chance that you've got to do less work after it, haven't you? Yeah, so, yeah. that's a good point. So, so yeah, I mean, I don't know which is better, but oh well, the, the bull comes to the rescue here and picks it up. Flip me. There is a stripper though, isn't there? Yeah, there's there's one stripper. It's the leap one. Maybe he can leap to victory. Probably has to. Yeah. And there even is a, is a nice square to leap into. We followed? Oh, it wouldn't have mattered actually. You could, could have left there anyway. Oh, he does go for the leap, fails it. Makes it. Oh, baby. Boy, howdy. Not sure about the scattering out actually. No. No, you want it there because you've got this guy, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, who fails anyway? Because <laughs> the tackle. <laughs> Why didn't you use another reroll? Ah, <laughs> because this isn't Blood Bowl three. Yeah, you know, oh, Blood Bowl three, you might not be able to use any because it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're still, we're still, you know, fifteen we're still years playing the times. It's not great game because the uh, follow up is not out yet, and if it's gonna be out, then it's gonna be absolute dog shit. <laughs> Yeah. So, there we go. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I suppose it's gonna be an overtime win for the Chops now. It looks like that. But he's only got one reroll, so it, it is dicey, but yeah, he's, he looks to stabilize. And there's still three gutters on the field. It's At least briefly. It's a bit hard to to see everything because, because it's so fast in replay but yeah. I think what would have been interesting is to see whether um, whether the first turn from the rats here whether um, whether he could have set up a bit differently so the um, the chops can't get through on the on the sideline yeah yeah maybe 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 a GFI different. or two would have made a big difference but I don't have it uh, have it in front of me yeah, maybe. Yeah. Because that that had had uh, a large Ooh. impact. Ooh, I'm not sure about the one forward. Because I would have liked this guy to go in front of him and then and then foul in front of him as well. Oh, he's fouling this one. Oh yeah, I guess he's got sure hands. But mm. I think I would. I think have I would have preferred players around the ball. Yes, yeah, I would have definitely just kept him there. Oh, he's just laying down. Okay, yeah, it's really looking like lying down, enough. waiting for the one turn. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, one turn. Never mind overtime. Yeah, there could be the one turn, couldn't there? How many stamps? Oh, yeah, he's got, got sidestep. Yep. 
Yep, no stun. There's no stun firm on the team whatsoever, so it could be a one turn. He's still got, he could have nine players for one turn as well. He's got Dawn to sleep, so uh, he's definitely got options. Yeah. Would be nice from Singolo to foul the movement nine gutter runner though. Oh yeah, one zero, isn't he? Instead of the movement eight lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better to foul movement nine. I guess at least by fouling him, he had something to move into next turn. But he had plenty of turns, didn't he? I would have, I would have definitely surrounded the ball and fouled this one. Yeah. But that's what you would have done. I don't see there's any reason to go on the sideline here. But I guess he's going to be greedy for more hits, and that's why he's going <laughs> to, he's going to do it. Like... There are no real reasons against it. Yeah. No one in range, so yeah. it's fine. Yeah, maybe just tempt him to do something. <laughs> tempt him to do something. I doubt he's gonna do anything though. No. It's not good though, is it, getting you guys banged out all the time? <laughs> but dirty, dirty player makes it very annoying. The lying down strat. So, uh, well. We're seeing Brian's chalice equity dropping heavily here. Yeah. Yep. And match equity as well as well, isn't it? Like uh you know, okay is only real chances the one turner and then Yeah, but uh, we decided the that the that he won the game on turn one of Singolo's offense. <laughs> so uh, that's already true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. He, d he did put the gutter in the right square, didn't he? So <laughs> it's already over. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Ada. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, got, we got to read it out because uh, you can only see it on the screen on YouTube. And, uh, Okay. It's not always that easily to read, so... Arrested Development Adam. asks, Jimmy, in your opinion as an unbiased lad, does the Wiz gain or lose value in this game because Singolo is too committed to the banger lifestyle to care about it? <laughs> Ignoring how Bright used it. Um, yeah. <laughs> it does gain value. <laughs> Yeah, it gains value because he's he's gonna he's gonna leave himself like you know you can leave yourself open to it if you try and play around. But then it, it gains in value in other areas, right? Like the actual wizard turn, it loses value in other areas, but gains on the wizard turn, doesn't it? You know. So like if you're playing somebody like Elliot, who's very careful and cautious, he's gonna he's gonna put a lot more into protecting the ball and less in generating extra blocks on you. So it's actually going to help you. It's going to help your team stay alive having that wizard threat against against a more conservative player whereas against somebody who completely disregards the wizard threat then he just carries on maximizing blocks and everything um so then you've got less players when you do actually pull the trigger even if the ball is less protected so there you go yeah. and i think especially in a matchup like this you want to you want to reduce the actual time you play the game so to say yeah and uh, so the passive value um, gets less important. Yeah. So. So yeah. So it's it's not 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 that stupid a question, even though you just wanted to call him stupid, which was very harsh, air dev. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's no need to be mean. But yeah, so it it, it definitely that there, there is two kinds of passive value to the wizard, isn't there? There there is actual value in in making. Like, so what do we think about this? Doesn't didn't he have enough players to get a push forward with the first push? Uh, I don't know. No, he's got many players. Has he? He's only got seven. Maybe he's not. I don't. Know. Yeah, he would have needed one on the right. The first one be two guy. Yeah, he's only got one gutter left now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's fucked now. Not a fan of re-rolling the first. Uh... No, no, I wouldn't have minded re-rolling things later, but yeah, the first one's a bit. The first one's a bit. 
crazy. Right? But I don't know. Maybe right. You 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 think you've got you, I mean, no. Maybe you do re-roll it. Right. You probably think if if you get to overtime, if you lose, you're fifty fifty just a straight up lose, right? So you might as well yeah, use that re-roll. On the other hand, re-roll is very important with low players. If you win the toss in overtime, yeah. And yeah, it's such a long shot. This this one turn touchdown. Yeah. Also, I don't know why. Singolo didn't put a tackle in front at where the one hobgoblin was. Yeah. Because it's pretty obvious which way he was gonna go. I guess he did want to expose his uh, his claw pommer, although there was no way that claw pommer was gonna get blitzed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but then it's so a bit it's a bit like me when I didn't want to expose both sidesteppers in my in my playoff games, that was really dumb. People do make some boneheaded plays sometimes, don't they? So you know. <laughs> I just this wanted to is. make Adef happy by pointing out uh, a play Sinkolo made that he probably made because of his bangerism. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, game over, GG. Yeah, now it's now. It's don't GG. please don't ban me, Elliot. But this game is over. <laughs> oh well done, Moradam. Yeah, that is that is perfect. If you don't launch Blood Bowl two at all, that is how you play Blood Bowl two perfectly. You know, Moridam, all your plays today will gonna be perfect if you launch Among Us instead of Blood Bowl 2. Yes. Yes, Among Us after this game. There you go. Also, since this is gonna go on YouTube, we would be very happy to uh, have a literal um, goblin on our game. Because as PC showed us, you shouldn't use uh, the word that's usually said uh, in between that. Yes. It's very naughty to swear. I, I'm trying to swear less, but it's uh, it's a little bit flipping difficult sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> a literal flipping goblin. Way. <laughs> Flip me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, AD. Yeah, tell us. Give us an exclusive. Come on, AD. AD. The funny thing is, though, as I said last night, um, you know, people like. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It's it's funny, you know, like people with people... Ben from the Bonehead podcast featuring. <laughs> um. Yeah, like, you know, there's people people like a dev, you know, who are good at Blood Bowl um, and know what they're talking about. They like to uh, kind of take a bit of a dump on people who are bangers, you know, who just uh, try to, like, you know, make as many blocks as, as they can and everything. However, the, doing that puts you ahead of most people, right? If you, if you can maximize blocks correctly... Then that's putting you ahead of most people in Blood Bowl, right? And 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 okay, there is like the extra level of like you know, PC and store and everybody who's who's then about you know like not over no not overhitting the position and everything. But but just trying to overhit as much as possible is just like literally going to put you top whatever percent, right? Like pretty pretty high, I think. Talking about overhitting, I absolutely hated that pro there because <laughs> if you double skull there, then you. All of a sudden, have your cage based. Yep. Wow. The th three D uphill ne nearly worked. You got two out of three. Nothing Never lucky. I says, nothing I say is serious whatsoever. Yeah, some of it is. Some of it is when you give advice to people. Like overhitting can be. If you're talking like, about food and know. going walking in the hills, <laughs> usually pretty serious. Yeah. Earlier today, when we were giving advice to somebody about dwarves, you were serious, right? Yeah, advice about dwarves and and boots. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> low-carb food, or whatever. <laughs> Getting two DBs makes you 60% and regular qualified for chalice. <laughs> it's true. Oh, dear. Yeah. Also, the mighty blow chop that is there. How many SVPs he away from leveling? And what round of chalice is this here? Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is 
the third round, the round of 16. So look, there was a 12 SPP Chorf that could have gotten a touchdown here, but now he can't because he wrestled himself down in the backfield. Yeah. Yeah. Given all, if he I guess scores he on the Hobgoblin, we know that he's shit and wrong and doesn't deserve his chalice. <laughs> because the deserved chalices are only from the coaches we think of as good coaches, <laughs> like um, someone who's not Triff. <laughs> I can get behind that. <laughs> he only won because he had the perfect god draw. Absolutely zero skill involved. <laughs> we can all yeah. agree on that. <laughs> Zero skill involved twice. <laughs> the second one proved there was no skill involved in the first. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when he won it with no skill the second time, that was the proof we all needed. the round of 16 like it's it's good when you've got the quarterfinals and the semi-finals and the final but yeah when you've got the round of 16 it's a bit shit can we please ban chuck almond milk <laughs> i'd like to report a hate crime here <laughs> we can do you know that volks made a team with sicker's eggs and chug man milk well chug yes. almond milk and handcock yes. and it li yes. it's literally volk Chugs, sick, cock. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I mean, one could argue that Wolf indeed uh, sucks cock or dick or chucks it because he's not good enough enough for the national team, no matter what nation you're talking about. <laughs> So, uh, pretty fitting, I think. <laughs> Even Andorra. <laughs> He's yeah. usurped. Oh, <laughs> That's a backlog of 18 years for the department dealing with blood ball crimes. <laughs> oh, man. Well, he oh, didn't no, he scored positions. on the Cop Goblin. Yeah. But that is good because that ends the game quicker. Yep. And uh, we can keep all in calling him an undeserved winner. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Chucks! Almost. Over 80 years late, <laughs> they finally banned him. <laughs> Wow, they, this rat's made one AV break, um, and they took 27, so there you go. But I mean, who knows, maybe, maybe if the rat had won the t maybe if he just lied down a bit more, he could have uh, won the toss and had some players left. But but even then, the late, he took he took horrendous casualties on the lying down, didn't he? Because he just, yeah. like, the dirty player was just not getting sent off and was casting everybody. It was, it was, pretty, it was a pretty good high roll from Singolo, but um, I thought he played. Fine, right. I, I, the wizard was a dodgy one because he was he was losing players. Like I didn't really li I didn't like the wizard personally, but then he was he was losing players and and yeah, like at the end of the day, a not very good wizard now is better than just completely wasting it, isn't it? So yeah, I think the important thing was the turn before. Yeah, I think there was something he could have done to make the wizard turn that that was gonna come uh, better. Yeah. But yeah. uh, I don't think we should uh, we should talk about that anymore because there are more important things to do. Yep. Which is say goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and uh, stay fantastic. Blah blah. <laughs> Not the end of the stream, but the end of the blood ball because we're gonna play Among Us now. Yes, and thank you very much, Stop, for coming on and doing the commentary. Absolutely great to have you on. Thank you so much. A pleasure.